checking out InsidePunch.com. I'm Kimberly Sargent, joined by the Diego Lima, one of my good friends and, of course, favorite fighters. How's it going? Good. Everything's good. Training's is going good. Three weeks out from a fight. Tell me a little bit about what's going on with that. Uh, you know, now it's the toughest weeks. You know, the three weeks out is the where it gets tough, where you put the face masks, you know, and you go at it, you know, try to hurt each other and see where the gas tank is, you know, see where the cardio is and... But everything is good, you know, just trying not to get hurt, training hard, but, you know, training smart not to get hurt. I did get a sneak peek of uh, watching you train today. You were training with, of course, the Sinsaw brothers, Jared Burke, all those guys. You were in the whole time. So is that typical? Usually you don't run circles until, you know, the week before a fight. Right. Unfortunately, you know, three weeks out, you have to stay in 15 minutes. You know, I was in there in the cage for 15 minutes. Everybody rested on me, you know, everybody gets a minute rest and I stay. So last three weeks, like I said, it's tough, you know. It's where you're staying all the time. You push the cardio where you need to be and, you know, good things come out of it, you know. <laughs> a rumor has it, I've seen it, this guy, Johnny Buck, calling you out. It's crazy to me because obviously you're one to be feared. How do you feel about that? You Was that something you want to take on? Well, yeah, now I can't because I signed with MFC. I don't really mind him ta uh, calling me out because, you know, I'm a young fighter coming up. You know, who doesn't want to beat me, you know? I don't mind at all, but thing is, I'm challenging my brother, you know, getting in the ring and calling my brother out, out you know. He's a world champion, man. He's a world champion. You don't do that to champions. You need more respect, you know. But with me, it's any time, you know. Anywhere I see him, I'll fight him, you know. He, he's nothing at all. A guy with the 8-8 eight and eight record calling people out, it's just, dude, come on, man, you know. If he was good he would have been 16 and 0 or 14 and 2 you know so i'm sorry man it's just not worth it you know exactly you know people talk smack numbers don't yep exactly you know check my record check his you know i'm still young but listen and on top of that he wants me to go way up a weight class to challenge him you know you challenge me you come down to my weight man no he's a 185 and challenge me at 170 you know what kind of crap is that you know it's just it's just stupid, man. I think he's just, his mouth is just too big, man, you know, and he's going to find somebody soon or shut it up. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Last but not least, your brother actually just got the great deal with Bellator. Super excited. Is that something you're looking forward to? Or you like your home at Canada or what's going on? Uh, right now, I love Canada, you know. I, I just signed with them a four-fight deal. So, you know, I got a while over there. You know, they're a great organization. They really take care of their fighters. So I'm real happy where I am. And now that my brother's left, the title will be vacant. So that's something I'm coming after hard, you know. I got to take it back on my bag. And, you know, hopefully soon it's going to come right back with us. But I'm happy over there right now. You know, in the future, you know, you, who knows? The future's the future, you know. I'm worried, I'm worried about right now. I've got a real tough guy right now. And that's what's going to be. Well, three weeks out, I wish you the best of luck, Diego. Keep bringing home those Ws. Thank you. I sure will. Make sure y'all check me out June 10th on HD Match. Start time is 10 o'clock Eastern. Thank you, guys.